the complexity increase, right? In, uh, in, in like the chaotic function of the fractal, if you'd like, as the, as the feedback information loop, the dampening across the feedback information loop from one scale to the other increase, right? So that's why you get, you know, huge amount of, I, I, I'm, if I'm not answering your question directly, you, you tell me, but I think I am. Uh, meaning that as you get to like larger structures, like biological systems, mm -hmm. chemistry, and, and, and these, at this level, at these scales, the entropy, the dampening across mm -hmm. the feedback is, is producing complexity, right? Because there's, there's more, you know, uh, angle of freedom, if you'd like, in the information network. So that make you see what I mean? So you see, for instance, the fractal structure at the biological scale has a resolution that's fairly wide, meaning it's, it can vary largely, right? And you can get like chemical bounds that like vary widely and get different molecules, right? Because you have more uh, vectors of freedom in the geometry. But when you reduce closer where, where the dampening is not so high between the Planck field and the, and, and the proton, then you, know, then you get high level of accuracy less complexity in terms of complex relationship, complex systems, do you see? So you have very, very um, standardized, if you'd like, uh, variables. The variables are reduced, you have less freedom, right? You, you get higher freedom on, uh, on the larger scale and that's how more complex systems emerge. 